Hi, welcome to this edition of How To Cue. Obviously, we're gonna be cleaning a dryer vent. Why am I doing it? Because people out there wanna charge you $69.95 to do it, and actually you're saving $30. $99.95 is the regular price. So, all you have to do is spend around 20 bucks to buy one of these. I'll leave a link to this down in the description. Let's get started on this. I'm gonna head into my stepdaughter's house and clean a dryer vent. Should be about an hour, we'll see. Step one's pretty obvious, move out the dryer. I'm on hardwood floors, so I'm just protecting the floors with that towel so I can gain access to the vent behind it. All right, so this is what I found. This hose was really short. I don't even know if it was connected. I had to stick my hand in there, just, just stick my hand in there. <laughs> now I'm gonna head up on the roof. It's a single story, easy access to get up on the roof. You do not have to do this, but if you do, you're looking for, again, a four inch vent that's covered. You don't want rain going down that pipe. The pipe just above it is actually a plumbing pipe, I'll point that out, and who cares if it gets wet, um, so it's not covered. So here I am trying to manipulate this brush around a little bit of a 90 degree corner. Um, it takes some persuasion, but it does go and then I just start adding extensions to that rod to get it as far as I can go. Make sure those extensions are screwed on tight. You don't want to make this a harder job by getting this brush stuck in there. So if it starts to stick, don't force it. Um, I would actually, like I am now, go back downstairs and start from the bottom. Now again, you do not have to go on the roof. I'm saying that again. You can always just put your brush from the bottom to the top. This is about a about a, about a 12 foot run, and you can see how much came out when I used the brush from the bottom. I really didn't find much from the top, but I didn't get very far. Um, this is a pretty straight run on this vent. If you have an older home, it may zig and zag a little bit that may make it more difficult to get around the corners. I'm just sending the brush back up just to make sure I give it a really good cleaning um, before I seal it up. You can again see as much see how much debris has come out the complaint here was just kind of a um, musty smell if your dryer isn't drying um, you definitely want to do this it is a fire hazard real quick break there is an option to put this brush on the end of a drill but i wouldn't recommend it because if you hook it up wrong it will come apart inside the vent so i wouldn't do it here i am turning the camera around here's the vent coming out of the dryer and I'm just gonna basically shove the brush in there to see if I can find anything. There really was nothing. It was pretty clean. Speaking of clean, my assistant is cleaning up for me. Thank you very much. And now it's time to put on a new hose. If this is all you wanna see in this video, go ahead and skip the rest. But here is a four inch uh, clamp around a eight foot four inch hose. Yeah, I said eight feet. I'm gonna go ahead and trim this down. But whenever you do this, Go ahead and put the hose on the vent first, then add the ring going this direction. And of course, I'm sealing it up with a drill and uh, a Phillips head. You can just have a Phillips head screwdriver. Now going the other direction, you wanna basically put on that clamp first and then attach it to the other end of the dryer. I can't believe they haven't come up with a better system. Um, again, this is a cheapy vent hose. There are more sturdy ones, but it works in this case. So again, um, manipulate that on the back of the dryer, put that clamp up, and then seal it like I did on the other direction. Yep, drill, Phillips head, there we go, good job. Okay, so I'm a bigger guy, and it's tough for me to get out from behind here, so what I'm doing here is using an extension cord, you can use a rope, and lifting the hose up so it doesn't kink. This allows me to actually get out from behind here and not use a short hose. Just a trick, maybe you can use it and maybe it'll help you. Okay, a little bit of time. Actually, it was only like 45 minutes. One of these, uh, Amazon has it. Click a link in the description. You can grab one of those. It helps actually out my channel. Um, but you don't necessarily have to get on the roof and man, you can easily save 60, $70. Um, and like the reasons I mentioned, you may want to do this fire hazard or if your dryer isn't drying or if it smells funky like it was in this case. Please check out my channel. I'd love for you to subscribe. Please like if you learned something and make a comment. Uh, maybe a situation you've had. You don't want to get this stuck in the vent or boy, it 
could be bad. Anyway, thanks for watching. Check out my channel, like I mentioned. I'll see you next time.